Kohlberg's stages of moral development is a theory that explains how people's sense of morality or understanding of right and wrong develops over time. The theory is divided into three levels, each containing two stages, making a total of six stages. The stages progress from a basic understanding of morality based on avoiding punishment to a more advanced view focused on universal ethical principles. This theory was developed by psychologist Lawrence Kohlberg, who believed that people move through these stages as they grow and learn more about the world. The first stage is called obedience and punishment orientation, and it falls under the pre-conventional level. In this stage, people base their sense of right and wrong on the fear of punishment. They believe that if something leads to punishment, it is wrong. For example, a young child might think that hitting a sibling is wrong only because it will result in being scolded or punished by a parent. Moral reasoning in this stage is all about avoiding negative consequences rather than understanding why an action is morally wrong. The second stage is known as individualism and exchange. At this stage, individuals begin to recognise that there is not just one right view handed down by authorities. Instead, they realise that different people have different perspectives and moral decisions can be based on individual needs. People at this stage might make decisions based on what they can get out of a situation. For instance, a child might share their toys with a friend, not because sharing is the right thing to do, but because they expect their friend to share with them in return. This stage is still focused on self-interest, but there is an understanding that others have their own interests too. The third stage, which is part of the conventional level, is called good interpersonal relationships. In this stage, people make moral decisions based on what will please or help others and earn social approval. They want to be seen as good by others, especially authority figures like parents and teachers. An example of this would be a teenager who follows the rules because they want to be thought of as a good student by their teachers. In this stage, people are concerned with being kind and maintaining positive relationships, and moral actions are based on social expectations. The fourth stage is known as maintaining social order. Here, moral reasoning is based on obeying laws and respecting authority to keep society functioning smoothly. People in this stage believe that rules and laws exist to maintain order, and breaking them would lead to chaos. For instance, an adult might stop at a red light, not only to avoid a ticket, but because they believe that following traffic laws is essential for public safety. This stage is focused on maintaining law and order for the greater good of society, and morality is seen as upholding these structures. The fifth stage, part of the post-conventional level, is called social contract and individual rights. At this stage, people begin to recognise that laws and rules are based on agreements between individuals and that these agreements can sometimes be changed to improve society. People in this stage believe that some laws are unjust and that individuals have rights that may sometimes conflict with the law. For example, a person might support the right to protest even if it means breaking certain rules because they believe that freedom of speech is a fundamental human right. In this stage, moral reasonings based on the idea that people should work to improve society and protect individual rights. The sixth stage is called universal ethical principles. At this higher stage of moral development, people base their decisions on abstract ethical principles that apply to all humanity, such as justice, equality, and human rights. Individuals in this stage act according to their own moral principles, even if these conflict with laws or social rules. For instance, someone might risk punishment to stand up against an unjust law because they believe in the greater moral principle of equality. In this stage, people have developed a personal code of ethics that guides their decisions, and they are willing to challenge societal norms or laws that violate these principles. One strength of Kohlberg's theory is that it provides a clear structure for understanding how moral reasoning evolves as people mature. It shows that morality is not static and that individuals develop more sophisticated ways of thinking about right and wrong over time. The theory also helps explain why people at different ages or stages of life may view moral issues differently. However, one criticism of Kohlberg's theory is that it focuses too much on moral reasoning and not enough on moral behaviour. Just because someone can think in a highly moral way does not mean they will always act on those principles. Additionally, critics argue that the theory may be biased toward Western, individualistic cultures and may not fully capture the way people in other cultures think about morality. 
I mentioned that Kohlberg was influenced by Piaget's stages of cognitive development. To learn about Piaget's stages, watch this video now.